Around 45,000 people still without power in Moore County tonight, and it could be that way until Thursday. It comes after two electrical substations were intentionally damaged by gunfire over the weekend. A Queen City News reporter, Sydney Heiberger, excuse me, joining us live here in the studio. Sydney, so what is the very latest in this case? Yeah, Alicia, as Duke Energy crews continue to restore these damaged substations, local, state, and federal investigators are looking into who did this and what their motive was. They have not ruled out domestic terrorism as a possibility here. Meanwhile, local business is taking a hit. Regardless of motive, violence and sabotage will not be tolerated. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper visited one of the substations targeted in Saturday's attack, raising concerns about the implications of a new kind of violence. The individual uh, that done the damage knew exactly what they were doing. An investigation brought all the way to the White House. The White House is monitoring, uh, has been monitoring the situation and is in contact with local officials. Uh, local law enforcement is receiving federal support on the investigation. Meanwhile, electrical crews are working in overdrive to repair the intentional damage. And locals are doing what they can to protect themselves and their businesses. Ed Nicely has been sleeping at his gun store since the outage on Saturday. It's only lit because it has a generator. Hope to never be broke into, but uh, just trying to protect our stuff. We're just not taking any chances, that, just to be honest. Not to mention the impact this has on his Christmas sales. Right from now all the way past Christmas is usually very busy for us. So, you know, it's going to hurt uh, just trying to help keep my employees working and, and help the community. For now, the community rallying together, praying for power and heat. Yeah, the Red Cross has set up a warm shelter with food at the Moore County Sports Complex. Duke Energy has also committed to spending at least $100,000 to help impacted residents. Brian. All right.